Wolverine, you see Wolverine really pining over the loss of his best friend and kind of reminiscing about him. So I thought that was nice. Yeah, yeah. The the it, it, it's it's interesting that you you mentioned that about um, about Wolverine because Wolverine has probably been one of the characters that I've been. Um, um, how can I phrase it? Uh, uh, not not exactly for in the Marvel universe. Right. And uh, um, first of all, I think he's overused. But that aside, uh, uh, I really I really never understood how he made it past three issues in 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 X Men lore to begin with, because he was basically a psychopath slash sociopath, um, um, emphasis on the psycho, uh, uh, that I never really, I never really got, um, how you, you could have a character like Wolverine, who was in the Professor X, um, danger room, and he makes a mistake, and Kurt Wagner l- laughs at the mistake, you know, just, you know, like, like, you know, school chums might laugh at each other, but, but Wolverine takes it to where he, I don't know if you ever, ever saw this, like, in a, in a, um, uh, what do they call it, visionaries or, or um, any of the reprint books or whatnot. But Wolverine takes a jump at him with his arms extended and his claws out and had, had Nightcrawler not disappeared uh, or bamfed um, and the X-Men had been cannibals. You know, there would have been six Kurt Wagner uh, um, fillets served up had he connected. And uh, I just, I just, I just forgive me. I, I just have just nothing good to say about uh, Wolverine. That's you know, that's just that's just my own personal uh, bent on that character. Um, I think he's definitely overexposed as a character, like Deadpool. Uh, I think. I mean, companies milk their most iconic characters for all their worth because they know it makes sales. So they kind of stick them wherever and draw people in. Um, yeah. I definitely agree that he's in way too many books and he's way overexposed. But I, there's something about Wolverine that I like. He's, in general, a really annoying character, and I agree that he doesn't have many redeeming qualities. But I feel like if he's written the right way, and you see that kind of underlying humanity, however thin it may be, it, it's kind of that nice um, hard candy shell outside and mushy inside scenario that kind of keeps you reading and, and wanting to see if you'll ever slip up again and, and you can see a little bit of that humanity again. So I think if he's written well, he's a really enjoyable character. But I agree that he's often not written well. And if you've ever read those Wolverine issues, I think they're called Wolverine the Best There Is. It's the most ridiculous thing I think I have ever read in a comic book, ever. Um, I don't know if you've read those issues. Um, no, pro- uh, pro- I probably haven't. Um, the, the, one, the, one, the one book that I did read um, um, of his, where he was solo, um, um, that I actually did enjoy, um, came from a writer who was pretty much known as being a shock and awe type writer, and uh, it was it was a book that that found a way, however briefly, to make me care about Wolverine's character. And that was um, Wolverine starring in his pretty much his own miniseries within his regular series called Old Man Logan. Oh, I've heard of that. And uh, um, there is some stuff there that was just uh, I thought was really intense, and uh, um, it was one of the rare times I actually could feel uh, for the character and for what he was going through, and. Uh, It'll be it'll be interesting to see if Marvel actually tries to act upon some of the things that um, um, if they're not looking at it as a 
Marvel version of an Elseworlds story, um, if any of those things end up coming to pass, um, it should prove it should prove pretty interesting. Um, you said something like you were familiar with it. Had you not had you not read it? That's definitely on my to read list because I've heard nothing but amazing things. I think I actually did start reading it at one point, but I never got through all of it. But I've mm-hmm. heard amazing things about Old Man Blue. Yeah, well, I well the one thing that I will forewarn you about is is uh, definitely not not for the squeamish. Oh geez. Well, neither is Wolverine the best there is. Wolverine oh, okay. the best there is is literally page after page of blood and gore. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a panel where Wolverine does disco moves, uh-huh. um, dancing in a club. So if that doesn't tell you how bad this is. I don't think I can make the point any clearer. And then it just cuts to, like, blood and gore everywhere. So don't read Wolverine the best there is. It, it'll just make you sad. Yeah. Well, I, I know that, I know that, um, um, uh, well, this doesn't really connect with what, what, with, with what you were saying, but um, I know that with um, um, the movies, uh, uh, Hugh Jackman, um, he, he's one of the he's one of the few people also that that made me care about the character. Even though technically, technically, I thought he was miscast. Uh, really? Yeah. I mean, I mean, people now, you know, you see Hugh Jackman, and you know, it's it's kind of like, you know, we we take it as a given, you know, that Hugh Jackman is Wolverine, and Wolverine is Hugh Jackman. But but Wolverine is supposed to be like five three, five four, That's stuff true. like that. And, um, uh, um, but of course they can't do that in Hollywood because then nobody would watch it. Well, yeah, yeah. I was I was telling some I was telling a friend of mine, um, um, Ed, who's here on YouTube, that I didn't think that uh, um, that that would have worked because people, an audience, wouldn't accept um, a short guy um, in that role. He would. Oh, he, no. he was of the belief that 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 didn't have anything to do with it. But but you know, I still think that you know. If you end up having a guy who's the you know the same height as Prince, um, um, you know, with, with with six adamantium claws coming out, people are going to be snickering at it, you know. So you know that's not what Marvel wants, I'm sure. But, yeah, I mean Wolverine is a tiny dude with like tons and tons of muscle and tons and tons of body hair, yeah. which is stuff people don't generally want to see in Hollywood, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. But um, I don't know. Uh, did, did you see? Did you see the latest X Men movie, the new class? First class. First class. Sorry. Yeah. First. Oh yeah, it was great. Yeah, I was actually surprised that 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 um, I ended up enjoying it uh, because I thought the the last X Men movie, the third X Men movie, oh, was I thought that was horrible. I love the X Men movies. It was awful. You know, and and. Um, um, I think they really got something, you know, I, I'm really hoping that they do um, um, a sequel um, to First Class before they do, you know, something that's, you know, that goes back to the present. Right. I'm just confused if they actually, if First Class actually is in the same um, continuity as the original X-Men movies, because the time sequencing doesn't match up. Um, and what, how so? Uh, for instance, Emma Frost, um, I think it was in the last movie or something, when, um, all those kids are rescued. Emma Frost was one of those kids. She was a kid when they rescued her in the last movie, which was more, which was closer to present day. But then you see her as a fully grown woman in first class, which is supposed to be further in the past. So it doesn't really make any sense. Yeah, I guess I guess I, I kind of I kind of I don't know. I think I kind of erased a lot of um, what was in that third movie out of my uh, memory bank, so to speak. I think it was either the third movie or the Wolverine Origins movie. Oh, that, that, that one I didn't see at all. <laughs> but oh, let, let, let me let me let me ask you while my mind is on it. Um, what what material was that supposed to be? that, um, in your view, that Emma was turning into when she turned into it in the movies? Um, I don't know. Because I assumed if, if they took it from the comics... It would be that, Diamond. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's what I that's what I thought. And and but if they were if but I feel, also felt that if it was Diamond and um, and um, Eric had had used his magnetic powers to um, um, wrap some kind of metal post around her neck, that yeah, that would, it wouldn't have cause, that would cause it to crack if she were Diamond. Really. Well, I, I mean, break. diamonds is supposed to be the hardest substance on earth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it wouldn't have broken if it was diamond. I mean, it wouldn't have hurt her. Right. Yeah. If, if, I, if, 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 if they, they made it seem more like she was just glass. Yeah, I remember that. I remember thinking the same thing. So I guess it was glass then, yeah. 